generally my artworks aim to inquire into things that happen around me how they affect me and those that are around me this year over the past uh, six months i've been working on a body of work titled metamorphosis and metamorphosis is a series of five works that in which i try to inquire into a lot of things as they affect me and, and how they play out in society you know like they say we are products of our society so metamorphosis i try to capture the process of development in a way from struggle to preserve myself to express myself and to what uh, i think a mature human being can be Metamorphosis 1 is about the struggle for self-expression. If you cannot be vulnerable enough to be honest about who you are or who you want to be, then finding original expression may be difficult. In putting this work together, it was really difficult because there are so many aspects that come together to make us who we are as human beings. So that struggle, you know, for example, if you met me today and I, you know, I was all happy as, you know, very social and we, you know, things worked out and you left. I guess you have an opinion about me that you met this wonderful, happy guy, you know, the guy is very nice. Then the next day you met me, I was all, you know, walk, walk, or I was all angry and then you left. I guess you may have an opinion that I met one angry guy, but we all know that you know, the human being is dynamic. So in this work, I try to put different aspects of that struggle, you know, to express. I try to put it together into one, to say that to understand the human being, you have to bring everything together. It cannot just be one. Metamorphosis 2 is about the struggle to preserve our different identities. For example, when you talk about culture, you have different identities. You have Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and many others. If we talk about geography, we have drawn geographical lines. You now have Nigeria, Cameroon, US, you know, name it. When you talk about religion, you have Christianity, you have Islam. Once we have created these different identities, it, is, it becomes a potential source for conflict because somewhere there is a line in between being a Christian or a Muslim or a traditional religion practitioner and a Christian. In being a Nigerian, there is somewhere there is a line in between being a Nigerian or a Ghanaian. So on the painting, you see a strained relationship at the bottom where there are different people, they struggle between white and black. Uh, you know, different religions and culture, you know, and tribes. Then above it, you see a more harmonious relationship. So in the work, I'm looking ahead to a future where we could rise above these different ways in which we have identified ourselves, you know, so that, you know, looking forward towards a better future where we could live in harmony. Metamorphosis theory is about the struggle for self-preservation. When a dad has gives birth to a child and passes on the knowledge that he has to that child, in a way, he is passing on himself. If he pass, if he's a Christian Nigerian, for example, he passes on to his child how to be a Christian Nigerian. If he is a Muslim Nigerian, he passes on to his child how to be a Muslim Nigerian. So in a way, if the child takes that as true and holds it and passes it on, so also the child will pass it on and the circle goes. So in this painting, I've tried to show it as what it is. I'm not saying it is positive or negative. I'm just saying that that's what it is. And in a way, when you believe and hold on to something, it's beyond it being information that is passed. It's also a kind of restriction too, because you cannot be two different things at the same time. So, I in doing this 
painting, I believe it empowers me to see what the reality is of what I am doing. And I believe it goes a long way to affect the way I live in society. Metamorphosis 4 is about the conscious man. The conscious man is one that sees things just the way they are without mixing it up with his thoughts, his emotions, his, you know, without mixing it up, he, it is just what it is. It, in the painting, I try to paint myself out of myself and taking a look at myself. What I'm saying by doing this is just that if you look, take a good look at yourself, only then you can know that you are bound by yourself. You know, it's usually believed that uh, there is be it's because there is a master that there is a slave. No, it's because that there is it's because there is a slave that there is a master. So, in doing this painting, I'm saying that if you become conscious enough to see yourself just the way you are, then it is at that point that you your life becomes your making and your like they say your destiny becomes enters into your hand you can create as you want because you are aware you know how things are you don't mix things up black is black white is white so at this level of consciousness if a man can wake up you know you can wake up and see yourself the way you are and how you are affected by what is around you only then that i believe you can do your best Metamorphosis 5 is about the realized being. The realized being is just simply put someone that has realized that he's a human being. And as a result, he experiences everything as himself. At the beginning of this journey, it was about you and I, our struggle to express ourselves. And at the end, it's about everything else. It's a movement from a myopic view to a broader perspective. You know, it's easy to miss the little things around us. And by so doing, that's how we miss ourselves. If you take a look, for example, at the human apparatus, if you may, realize that half of our breathing apparatus is outside. For example, I breathe out carbon dioxide. The trees take in carbon dioxide they produce oxygen, I breathe in oxygen. We know that without breath, there is no life. Something as simple as water, without it, life cannot go on, because even our body is 75% water. We are a product of the earth, you know, the food we eat is a product of the, this earth, which we will return to. If you doubt it, just bury your hand or maybe two years, come back, check, let's see what's remaining. So the realized being has seen that he is part of, he is part of nature. Did you eat yesterday? I presume that you didn't cultivate the food you ate. I believe that you needed somebody to do that. You also needed somebody to have it in his, in his or her shop for you to buy. We are all interdependent. So for this guy, for the realized being, the, he knows that teaching about love is not some theory. It is practical because without you, I cannot survive. Without the trees, you don't talk about teaching them, you know, teaching someone like this about, you know, the environment, how to take care of the environment. No, he sees that he is part of everything and love, you know, care, these things, he's a complete man. The left part you see the ocean, water representing water, the right part you see land. To show that masculine and feminine as qualities in nature are balanced within himself. In the words of Sadhguru, he says that at this stage, we are, you, you realize that being human is super. No, we are not talking about being superhuman. No, being human is super. We all know what a full-fledged butterfly looks like. We all know what a full-fledged lion looks like. But do you know what a full-fledged human being looks like? 
the full flesh human being is i think at the peak of evolution and it's my goal it's my aim it's my wish that we all will rise above the little things that have taken our minds and we become all we are the future of the world is in our hands the way we make it that's how it's going to be